So, Dan, what was your official diagnosis and how did you find out about it? Uh, so I had stage four non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. And how did I find out about it? I don't know, just progressively worse symptoms. Um, so I, like, I lost my voice, I lost weight, um, had some bouts of nausea, like I think it, uh, some night sweats, some cold sweats. Those were kind of, the, I think, the telltale signs for cancer, but I just, I didn't know until I was kept on exhausting all the options at the, uh, my, uh, I think it was like an ear, nose, and throat doctor, and then I went to, like, I think he then referred me on, and then that's kind of how I found out. Wow. So what, what were your symptoms? Like, I mean, what exactly did you have going on? So the night sweats, vomiting, like, or, or intense uh, bits of nausea, like, for 20 minutes at a time. Uh, I lost my voice. Um, I lost weight. Had trouble going upstairs. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah. So, um, what what are you doing now? I mean, what are you what are you what are you up to? So, uh, as you know, I run Empowerment. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, which is the nonprofit to help men with uh, psychosocial support during and after treatment. Okay. So what what motivates you? Like as a human? Yeah, just, well, just in general, even to even to to start your nonprofit. Like, I mean, what what makes you run? Uh, probably just in general. I'm just an like like incredibly curious person. Like, I always want to gain knowledge. So okay. I'm I'm interested in things like I don't know. Just very like I like reading about science and or cooking or transportation like i'm just always interested in new things and i think um i think that's a that's probably over, like the overarching thing that kind of gets me up every day is just what can i learn and how can i maybe even apply that knowledge to, you know for some benefit now actually dan what is your ba- your professional background in uh so i was an english major by uh in college and then i don't, I don't know i've worked in like <clears throat> several industries i've worked in professional sports i've worked in uh i've worked in the uh as a in the restaurant business as a as a chef i've worked in higher education i've been a track coach i've done i don't know television commercial acting so it's kind of all over the place okay so wait let's back up here like you said you're a chef like what yeah. what was your specialty uh whatever made my guests or my friends happy <laughs> so what would that commonly be you know, it didn't make any difference. I mean, it was like as in the restaurant, it would be, I don't know, I just was in the, worked in the flow of the, what the owner wanted. So I didn't really have too much of a choice, but I love working the wine dinners when we do like food pairings with different wines. I thought that was really fun. Oh, cool. Cool. Um, and then when it comes to friends, I really just like making whatever, whatever they like. So I'm pretty flexible and it's not, there's no real common thread with what they like to eat. <laughs> really? Yeah. I, well, some people like my salmon burgers. Okay. Okay. Sa- yeah. Salmon burgers. Yeah. Cool. So, what is uh, next on your agenda? Like, it sounds like you've got a lot of big things planned for empowerment. Like, what? What? What's the next step, or what? What, what are you going to do next? With that, or in general? Uh, yeah, with that. Uh, get my online curriculum launched sometime in the spring of this year. Very cool. Very cool. What makes you laugh? What makes you cry? And what makes you angry? Um, so I love. So I perform improv. I love when a when a scene takes on its own life. And so, um, so I love. I'm, so I love going to see improv. I love performing in improv. And I think the spontaneity of what can happen really makes me laugh. Um, makes me cry probably is more thinking sometimes about uh, my mom uh, who passed uh, it'll be four years in March so sometimes the memories that I can't have with her moving forward uh, from that time just to think about uh, the 33 years I had with her and then um, just thinking that she won't be able to see um, different things in my life as I get older um, and then what makes me angry I feel like that's like an Incredible Hulk question or something. <laughs> Don't make me angry. Um, I would say probably uh, 
abuse of those without a voice or abuse of the environment or animals or people, whatever, something, whatever that doesn't have a voice. So, okay, um, here's another question for you. It's kind of personal, but uh, what is your guilty pleasure? Guilty pleasure? <laughs> yeah. Probably watching reruns of Star Trek The Next Generation. Not really, you're a trick. <laughs> For sure, man. So who's your favorite Star Trek question? Character. Your Character? Story. Uh, probably Picard. Has to be. Okay. You don't like Data? I do, but, um, but he asked me to pick my favorite. <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, any words of advice or anything? Nah, I'm not really one for advice because, you know, my advice is, only, you know, it only probably works for me anyway. Uh, I guess, I don't know, trust your intuition. Yeah. <laughs> if you could ask a historical figure a question, who would it be and why? You know, my mind is going to like Thomas Edison, Charles Lindbergh, uh, Amelia Earhart, like that, for whatever reason, like the, like the early 20th century. Uh, oh. Pioneer type people. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I would. Um, I don't know. Maybe a question for Lewis and Clark. I know they're a team, so I guess we'll pick Lewis. <laughs> okay. I have to limit it. Um, would be. Uh, what was his favorite? Uh, his favorite new discovery in America. So I'm going to end with this question here, but do you have any parting words for or shout, shout, shout outs to anyone out there, to any particular people, or do you want to say anything to anyone? Christabel for making this happen. Yeah. She's cool. Yeah, she's great. Um, I don't know, probably all the people who... Uh, as it relates to cancer, who are doing the work and trying to um, to make uh, people's lives in this fight uh, a lot better. Yeah. All right. I think I'll go ahead and end this now. So okay. I'll take the, off the hot, Steve. <laughs> so hot right now. <laughs> Perfect.